Indonesian women die every single day from cervical cancer? Will we, as the future generation, just stay quiet without doing anything? It's time to take an action, save human, save Indonesian women. Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer for Indonesian women, and even in the world, the 19% mortality rate is due to late detection. When the cancer is known, the cancer is already in the stage 3 or even 4, where this is very deadly. The medical world offers a solution such as pop smear and IVA test, but unfortunately, it less accurate and pervasive. It also requires direct general digital inspection, which many women are reluctant due to embarrassment and discomfort, where most general coaches in Indonesia are men. Of course, this is still considered less effective for an early detection. So, what is the next solution? Recent studies have shown that there is a VOC or volatile organic compound substance found in the urine of people with cervical cancer. The presence of these VOCs becomes an order fingerprint in the detection of cervical cancer. It's safe, non-invasive, and specific test method for early detection. Study states that there are nematodes that can detect the presence of these VOCs using the ovulatory system. The nematode is Xenoraptitis species. Will this method be an effective and efficient for the medical world based on morphological and molecular characteristics, movement pattern of chemotaxis index and validity test? Introduce us, I am Chili and I'm Planis from Man One Malang City, presenting our innovations. The very pattern of Senorabdari species as an early detector of cervical cancer through urine of cervical cancer patients using the modified NGM media. In this study, we conducted through isolation of center of data species and obtained the nematode in the third isolation in rotten fruit. After isolation, we continued to identify the nematodes to ensure that the nematodes we found were in the center of data species. Identification is divided by two. The first morphological identification result in that this nematode has a round body, half transparent, a blunt head end, and with a pointed tail. The second is molecular identification, which is currently still in process at the Brain Genetics Laboratory. The results of this molecular or DNA identification will be compared with DNA sequences or what can be called DNA primers. Furthermore, culture will be carried out on the nematodes that have been identified. But before that, it is necessary to prepare the nematode growth medium or NGM agar. Nematode testing on NGM agar was carried out starting with defining the agar on a petri dish into four quadrants, with quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 being the buffer area or water, and quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 being the areas of cervical cancer or normal treatment urine samples. Then put a number of 40 to 60 nematode cultures in the center of the agar, and after that, drip sodium aside for seraphitis species immobility. After observation, the chemotaxis index was calculated using the following formula which aims to distinguish one sample from the control. Then, we calculated the validity test to determine the sensitivity, specificity, positive value, and error rates. Next, we analyzed the data using SPSS 25.0. The gorgeous set of data species can be observed for its life cycle, starting from egg, larva, pupa, and adult nematode. Because the body is semi-transparent, the internal organs of Seraphite species can be observed. In this study, we used 40 urine samples assisted by Dr. Subandi at his clinic and several medical students interning at Prawijaya University Hospital, University of Muhammadiyah Malang Hospital, and Gambiran Hospital in Kediri. For the seven of them, are urine samples diagnosed with cervical cancer, and seven were urine samples of healthy patients. The research has also obtained an ethical clearance issued by the Poltekas Kemenkes Mala. From the 14th sample, the seven crops that points up are crops of cervical cancer patients, and the seven crops that points down are the crops of normal patients. But it can be seen on the PS4 crops that should point down instead points up. In other words, the test on normal patients number 4 results in the PS4 has the possibility of having cervical cancer. Interestingly, after one month of this research, PS4 did a cervical test. 
and the results show that PS4 had supposed to be healthy, had a cervical cancer in situ stage or precancer stage. The validity test was also carried out by comparing seropathic species tested with breast cancer. As a result, the sensitivity value was higher than the cervical cancer test, and the specificity value was higher in the breast cancer. However, the error rate for both is not too different. Seropathic species has 16 pairs of neuron play that an important role in the sensing of the POC, which influence behavior to move toward or away from the compound. The four chemosensory organs of Cernohabditis species is amphit, famphit, inner labia, and outer labia. It can be concluded that the cervical cancer detection method using Cernohabditis species nematodes can be an effective and efficient innovation. It's hoped that this innovation can be developed and useful for the medical world in the future. Salam, Peneliti Buddha!